Kajia, we do coffee, of course, and I have known Ralph for a while, and he mm. also has got a, a Gadja uh -huh. coffee machine. In fact, we have uh, done a video of uh, your machine and how you actually we use did. your the machine. The machine, yes, yes, an automatic yes. coffee machine, yes, which I'd recommend to anyone <laughs> thinking about try dipping their toes in the water to self-brewing yeah. coffee rather than just going to the establishments and buying right. it at, at a premium price. That's right. You went to you went we from a, a manual machine. Very basic machine to, a, to, to this one that, which will grind the beans if I want it to or yeah. it will take powdered coffee ready yeah. to dispense and you're enjoying using it it's very good it's very on good. every day <laughs> <laughs> I've just bought it Ralph, welcome to Gadget. Thank and you. Um, you want to tell us about what you do yes it's my home business which yep. uh, I started about five years ago now working for myself okay. as a a clinical ear care specialist uh, which involves looking after people's ears uh, and making sure that they're clear and healthy uh, particularly in the aspect of wax that's the normal problem with ears and that's where I've got my expertise to remove wax safely either at the patient's home or at one of my clinics so you do actually go out to patients that's I do something yeah I do that, home yeah. visits which is very useful for and elderly people for example yeah and you're based in Yorkshire. I am based West, in Huddersfield. West Yorkshire. Yeah, and our area covers West Yorkshire. And where? Uh, what is the furthest place that you would go to? Well, we've, it, it's hard to say these days because my time is getting more limited. But yeah. say 15, 20 miles from Huddersfield. So Leeds. Leeds at a at a Trin push with yeah. appointments. Yeah. We, do you go up to Manchester at all? No, we, no. we don't do Manchester. We'd go over the over the border at a at a pinch again. But yeah. we try and stay this side of the so Pennines these days. Sheffield. Uh, no, we've got more Halifax, yeah. Elland, down to Brighouse, um, Batley, and Batley, Dewsbury, yeah. Dewsbury, and that kind those of those sort of areas. Yeah. yeah. Right, so uh, how do you actually get in, how do people get in touch with you? Do they? Do you well, have a um, website? I, I'm, we're trading as Pennine Ear Care. We do have a, a website, I'm, I'm on Facebook as well, yep. uh, etc. You know, we're, we're in the media there, so you can get hold of us if you just um, search. We'll Pennine put some details uh, on the video as Thank well, you. so people can oh, actually yes. uh, yeah. Find, yeah. find you somewhere. Thank uh, you. So, Tell me, you have got quite a lot of uh, things here. Yes, uh, yes. So what are these? Well, people are these often ring up and when they've got the wax in their ear, they, want, they do want to know what's going to happen, even over the phone. Uh, but it's far easier to see and explain here. So the first thing I would do is take a case history for the patient. So okay. I'm filling in a form. After that, we work out uh, what is going to be needed next. And mm -hmm. uh, I will look in their ears using a, an otoscope. So I will check the condition of their of the patient's ears. So that is basically, this a, is basically magnifying a, a torch, a torch with yeah. magnification. Doctors use these um, yeah. regularly to okay. inspect ears. Once I've assessed the ear and worked out what type of wax it is and how bad it is, I then decide how to get it out. Okay. And we have a choice. We've got a, a range of methods so to remove what, can wax. You, can you tell me what these are? things are right there. well if you were in um, in Asia and you were having your shoes cleaned a guy on the street might possibly <laughs> offer to clean your ears with one of these he'll put he'll lift the wax out of your ear whilst another chap's cleaning your shoes um, so that's the old way and I, I still find that useful sometimes where wax is very hard okay. we can loosen it a little bit and right. maybe put some a squirt of olive oil into the ear yeah. The more modern method is to irrigate the ear using a pulsing water machine, okay. called an irrigation machine. We fill the tank with water that's just above body temperature. I like yeah. to have it at about 42 degrees. And yeah. we jet a fine jet of water into the ear, which is then caught using this vessel as the water dribbles out of the ear. And wax will often release itself and drop into the vessel. Okay. Job done. I okay. then check the ear that it's clear and we may consider drying the ear afterwards. Right. And what... what the, the, the other method, the, the, latest more, the latest modern method is to suck the wax out using a cannula which is a sucking tube and this directly attaches itself to the wax and we pull the wax out. While, and I'm do, doing that under magnification 
optics. So I'm wearing a bright light and optics, so, this, so I can this see is kind of what using is these yeah. using these optics. That's right. So we've got a bright light powered by the battery, much yeah. like a dentist would do. So that's plugged in there. I've got the bright light, and I can see right down into the ear of the patient. Mm, very good. And safely remove the wax without any pain I might it, add and, and it's about <laughs> safety isn't it you, safely you, because you could yes. damage your eardrums eardrums are about two and a half centimeters down from the surface okay and they are delicate yes they do yeah. need care hmm. and uh, so tell me more about some of these things that you have right here. so um, we move on there so sometimes I do a mixture of methods of removal sometimes with wax it there'll be a, uh, some skin related uh, blockage in the ear and no matter how hard I try with the water or suction it doesn't come out that's when I can use a pair of little forceps and they will okay. grip the wax or debris and yeah. I can slide the wax out um, tuning forks I would use afterwards okay. sometimes <laughs> I use them beforehand to check where the hearing is it's a um, standard equipment for, or from an audiology point of view yep. to be able to tell whether the person's ear is working properly. Mm -hmm. And the test there is to press the tuning fork on the forehead. If everything is wo working normally, you will hear the sound in the centre of their head. If an ear has a blockage, such as me, my hand on my ear, the sound will go to the blocked side. Mm -hmm. So that tells me straight away there's a problem yep. on that side. Right. Then I start to think, well, is it wax or is it another medical condition behind yeah. the ear? So did you have to do a lot of training to get to this stage? Well, I went through a hearing aid audiology training in okay. Manchester. So I trained um, 18 years ago now, mm -hmm. to, um, yeah, 2002. So I and was dispensing hearing aids for national companies. And then you started um, on your own. And then I went on, on to my own self-employment about five years ago five years ago so you mm. have got good mm. experience and a lot of yeah. it and extra training i might add one of my employers offered to train me on the water irrigation mm -hmm. then once i was self-employed i realized i needed m uh, to be able to use the suction method as well okay so i paid for myself to go through a suction training course yeah. and uh, uh, in terms of uh, looking through into into your ears you mm. have got some a very um, useful instrument we yeah. call this a video otoscope yeah. oto yeah. means ear okay. and a scope means we're looking down into the right. ear now this clever little device allows us to see on the computer screen yeah. live yeah. in color yeah. the condition of the ear so all we do is simply and this is what I would do before treatment is click into this icon which brings so. up straight away a live image of whatever it's pointing at and this is designed so it's to like point. a little camera video and yeah. you can capture yeah. it as a as a still image a as still well image as, yeah as well as a yeah, yeah. so oh. when you go into your ear it actually lights up it as lights well. it lights up the ear yeah. yeah and i can set the brightness with this and control we, yes we have already done an experiment we on did. my ear didn't we checked we? it was yeah. clear yeah <laughs> a clear so ear. that's quite a nice uh, a image, very I useful think. thing yeah. for two reasons first of all it's well magnifying the image so i'm getting a good clear picture of the condition yeah. and then afterwards i'm able to take a a snapshot of the actual eardrum okay confirming that it's clear and in good condition and it's evidence from my business point of view it's protection for me as well as the patient yes. to confirm everything is in order mm -hmm. and I keep all those files on the computer right just in case a specialist would want to see them or whatever yes. they are accessible yeah so do you get referrals through uh, your GP service or NHS or anything like that or do you it's have not, to no I, I do get doctor referrals but not uh, they're done through local knowledge the doctors okay. have got to know about my reputation and, and, and are prepared to trust my you treatments. seem to have a lot of testimonial testimonials have, on your website yes I have so built up a be, fair yes. collection I've been keen to put them on it's it tells a story and gives the patient the prospective patient that trust that they're going to somebody that cares and does the job properly mm -hmm. and uh, those testimonials do the job yeah people often come to me and say well I've come to you because I've read yep. your testimonials yeah okay yeah. Excellent. So if you yeah. wanted to uh, sort of show uh, your business to others and you have also an interest in coffee we'll be very interested in seeing you here 
and you can talk about your business, have a coffee with us. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we have quite a lot of new uh, and uh, existing range of machines, which you can actually play with as well. And you can mm -hmm. tell others about your business. So give us a call or contact us on uh, YouTube or on our website, which is gadgetdirect.com. Uh, the YouTube channel you can actually subscribe and there are quite a lot of videos about uh, coffee machines and also about community activities so if there are things that you want to actually tell the world tell your community about mm. please contact us because we are we'll, we would love to uh, give you publicity on our website there is Gadget Cafe TV on our website so you can actually see uh, mm. other community projects that are yeah. going on yeah. so thank you Ralph uh, do you want to say anything else about uh, have I missed anything out uh, uh, nothing obvious I don't think okay. no, just that uh, people might wonder how long it takes it takes a typical appointment is half an hour to 40 minutes okay. to get an average pair of ears clear good and there's no messing about tripping backwards and forwards it's all done on one visit yeah either me at the patient's house or them coming to my clinic so you carry all these things with these you? These are mobile in the car and another set of them at the clinic. Yes. Very good. We move around. And your website again is Pennine, Pennine Ear Care. Ear Care. Uh, and you'll be able to find it. You can uh, find me on, easily on, on, the, the, on, on that, yeah. on, the, on the YouTube as well. Indeed. So thank you. And I hope that has been useful to you. Thank you for watching.